Accordingly, the court will sentence the defendant as follows. Priests have been convicted and dioceses bankrupted by lawsuits. But last month's hearing in Geneva was the first time the Vatican had to answer to an international panel's questions about pedophile priests. Archbishop Silvano Tomasi testified. The Holy See has carefully delineated policies and procedures designed to help eliminate such abuse. But the Vatican has refused to hand over detailed information on the more than 4,000 cases that have been brought to its attention. Right as the uh, uh, abuse scandals were first started to emerge out of Boston, um, I got the chance to tell my story. Mark Serrano says he had to sue to get the church to acknowledge that his priest sodomized him in the 1970s and 80s. He says his perpetrator was reassigned to another parish and forced sex on dozens more children. This is me when I was 12 years old. Serrano has become a spokesman for American victims. We want all sex offenders, past, present and future, in the church, removed immediately. And he doesn't believe what the prelates said in Geneva. They obfuscate, they deny, uh, they gloss over. Uh, they offer words of reassurance, just like words that were offered to me as a young man of reassurance from my bishop. It's the same, it's the same routine, the same act that I witnessed 30 years ago. Something very, very wrong happened in our church. John Carr now teaches at the Jesuit-run Georgetown University in Washington. He used to work for the U.S. Bishops' Conference, and he downplays the U.N. investigation. The U.N. thing... That's just fine. I think we ought to be held to account. But far more fundamental is the changes that are coming about every day in the attitudes, behaviors, and practices of our church. The Vatican disclosed a day after the Geneva hearing that Pope Benedict had defrocked hundreds of abusive priests. But Serrano says that bishops should also be accountable. There's nothing will, will truly change unless Pope Francis decides to excommunicate bishops for hiding child sex offenders. Pope Francis has created a commission on protecting children, but critics say it's a disappointing response from a pontiff who has done much to burnish the image of the church. Jerome Sokolovsky, VOA News, Washington.